If you want to walk in Pokemon Go or other GPS-based games without actually walking, or spoof and change your current location to anywhere in the world. And also some exciting features which you will come to know using a tool called iMoveGo. Then keep watching this video. So to get started, download this tool from this website, which supports the latest iOS 17, link to which will be in the description. Double click on the exe file and set up this tool. Just click on install to start the installation. Once the process is complete, click on get started and connect your iOS device to the computer. And once it detects your iOS device, start installing the necessary Apple drivers, just follow the on-screen instructions. You may be asked to unplug and replug your iOS device, so do as instructed. Once the drivers are installed, move to your iOS device and make sure to trust the connection as shown on the video. That's it. What you see now is the interface of the tool. The first feature is called teleport mode. This is my current location. The same is displayed on my iOS device, as you can see. Now, click on this search bar, and here type the name of any place you wish to teleport, in my case, I will spoof my location to Paris Eiffel Tower. Click on the location results, and then finally just click on move. As you can see, my current location has been changed to Paris Eiffel Tower in one click. And on my iOS device, once I tap on this current location icon, it refreshes my location to Paris Eiffel Tower as spoofed using iMoveGo tool. The next feature is called Jump Teleport Mode, where you can customize the route of the teleport. Currently, my fake location is Eiffel Tower. Now we'll search for another location for Jump Teleport. As you can see, I have set the route to Taj Mahal, although you can add multiple points. Jump Teleport comes with cooldown timer, which is good for avoiding any ban in GPS-related games. So once you have set the routes or multiple points, just tap on Move and the timer will start as shown, once the timer is over, it will jump to the next point in the route automatically. On my iPad, you can see, instantly my location is jumped to Taj Mahal, from Eiffel Tower, and it can jump to another point as well, as per your will. The next feature is called, Two Spots Mode, which works by simulating walking or driving. Here you can set two points, say A and B, on the map and then set the speed at which you want to cover the distance between point A and point B or simply set it to realistic mode where the speed changes every 5 seconds. Then when you start the simulation, it will start to cover the distance between those two set points. On my iPad, as you can see, it shows that I am moving from one point to another. This way, we can simulate GPS movement without actually walking or driving. Another next feature is called multiple spot mode where it's not restricted to just two endpoints, rather, you can make unlimited number of points for GPS movement simulation and make a whole path, set the desired speed, and when you start the simulation, it will cover all the distance between those points, or you could even set it on loop. As you can see, it's working and covering the distance automatically. And on my iPad, simultaneously, it's able to simulate GPS movement among those GPS points. The next feature is called joystick mode, where you can use this on-screen joystick and change direction in real-time GPS movement, or even use keyboard button to do so. This can be very useful for GPS and AR-based games like Pokemon Go. So just set the desired speed of the movement, and then when you start this mode, it will start to move automatically, providing you complete 360-degree movement. Just change direction in real-time and make it appear as if you are actually walking, driving, or even riding. On my iPad, as you can see, it's moving freely, and with the help of the joystick, you can change its direction. While playing Pokemon Go, you can simulate walking without actually walking. As you can see, it's changing directions, and when you leave the joystick, it will continue to walk. You can download iMoveGo for free with limited feature, or purchase the tool monthly, quarterly, or for the lifetime. It also accepts various cards, as you can see. Link for iMoveGo tool will be in the description. Next, if you want to set up RetroArch and play retro games like Nintendo, PlayStation, GamesCube, and many more, watch the next video.